The copy machine doesn't suck, you suck. My job is to teach you how to be your office copy guy. Default settings only get you so far. What if you need 11 by 17? What if you need uh, double-sided? What if you need foil stamping? You're going to need to take a closer look. Yeah, you push a button and paper comes out, but there's something deeper about it, something more human. When I was a child, I would copy a page of the newspaper by hand. I love seeing the words written again. Nothing makes me happier than a perfectly replicated copy. This is my first copy. I started as a copy boy here 19 years ago, and I was the best they'd ever seen. One day my boss comes down, he says, Richard, you're amazing. Do you want to be a digital strategist? And you know what I said? No. Here's a little tip. When ink is low, you can take out the ink cartridge, spit in it, boom, get another hour out of it. Can't tell you how many times I've printed out using my own spit. This is more for precise copies, basic copy, just up top. Glossy, matte, luster, cardstock, copy paper, recycled copy paper, laser paper. The history of the copy machine dates back to Johann Gutenberg. Some say twins are God's copies. Making copies isn't just pressing buttons. It's about transferring information, it's communicating. Paper is what separates us from the animals. I'm Richard Breslin, and this is my master class. Hey, Mac, can I get like 15 copies of these? Yeah. Oh.